Good morning, beloved. It is December 27th. It is just two days after Christmas. Oh my goodness. Did y'all have an awesome Christmas? I know that I had an awesome Christmas. I missed some people this year. I didn't have Cole or Caleb with me, my two oldest sons. I didn't have my mom with me, which is so different. And there's a reason for that. And you'll notice in church this morning, um, that Miss Jamie won't be there. Again, I wasn't there for the Christmas Eve service and I'm not going to be there this morning. And there's a reason. And the reason is because our family is under quarantine. And I'm so sorry. We're not sick. We're okay. Addie was sick. Our youngest our youngest daughter, Addie Jane, she was sick. She had 104 fever for two whole days, but she's feeling much better. But because of that, we had to get a COVID test and we also had to get, um, we had her she had to get a strep and flu test. Those all came out negative. Of course, the COVID test came, it was like two or three days later. But because this is like such a crazy, weird virus and they're just not sure, they made us stay in quarantine for 10 whole days. So we've been in quarantine since Monday, since last Monday. It'll be a week tomorrow, but 10 whole days. So we can't even think about coming out of quarantine or being out and about or being around people until when, at least Wednesday. So, but it was still a good Christmas. It was still a good Christmas. We still got to be together, most of us. We still got to love one another. Um, I talked to Cole and Caleb, I talked to my mom. So we, in spirit, were all together. But, you know, Miss Jamie, there's something that I love. Love, love, love about Christmas. It's my favorite thing. And you're not going to guess what it is because you think, oh, Miss Jamie isn't, it's not going to be that. But you know what it is? Presents. I love presents. I love shopping for presents. I love giving presents. I love getting presents. I love presents. Isn't that crazy for me to say? Because, you know, we do say, and it's true, Christmas is not about the presents. But it's really not all true, actually. It is about one very special, perfect present. Do you know what that is? Hmm. Let's think about this. Is it the PS5? Is that what's out now? No, it's not the PS5. Is it a cute little puppy with a bow on it? No, that's not what it is either. Either. What is it? What is that perfect present? And you know what? I didn't buy it. You didn't buy it. Nobody bought it. It's Jesus. Jesus. God gave us Jesus. Did you know that God loves to give presents? He loves to give presents even more than Miss Jamie does or your mom and dad or even Santa Claus. He loves giving presents more than Santa Claus. That's why he gave us the most perfect gift of all in Jesus. In Jesus. Jesus, the most perfect gift. Now, why is he the most perfect gift? Let's see what it says in the Bible about Jesus being the most perfect gift. Okay, we're going to read. Now, I know most of you know this. Some of you probably even know it by heart because it's been instilled in you since um, probably you were born. But John 3, 16, you hear that all the time don't you hear that verse all the time it tells us in john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life now you've heard that in other ways too so there's another version, not another version, it's all the same, but another way to say it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So Jesus, the most perfect gift, and he came as the cutest little baby ever, I'm sure, in this cute little package. He came to us as a baby born to Mary, Raised by Joseph, but it's God's son. So that we could have eternal life. Eternal life. So that means that 
if we believe in him, if we believe in Jesus, that he is our savior, that he was born for us as the perfect gift, that he, oh my goodness, how awesome, that we have eternal life just for knowing what's true already, that he is God's son, that he died on the cross for us. That's what we'll talk about more at Easter. But that he died on the cross for us and three days later rose again. If we know and we believe that, and we know that to be true, we will have eternal life. Eternal life forever and always. And you think, well, how is that true? Because I know my loved ones pass away and they die. Well, it's a different kind of life. When, when you believe in God, yes, your body dies. This goes away. But then you get to be in heaven forever with God, with Jesus. With no more pain, with no more arguing, with no more fighting, with no more worries, no more hassles, no more. Everything is wonderful. Wonderful. How awesome is that? God wanted a relationship with us because he loves us so much that he gave us his son, gave us his son. He gave his son to the world, to the earth, to come as a little baby so that we could watch him grow. We could have his example of showing us, showing us how to live, how to love, how to take care of ourselves, how to take care of one another, how to worship God, how to have faith and have trust in God. God is our, Jesus is our perfect example of that. He gave as one son. And because of that, we are now adopted by God and we are his children as well. So, you know, I want you to think about the presents that you got this this. Christmas Day. And maybe, you know, if you haven't seen grandparents, maybe still presents are coming in the mail. Maybe there's, you're going to have kind of like a day that we're going to have with our other family, with our big boys and my mom on another day. And we're still having presents. But I want you to think about the presents that you have received. And I want you to think about the present, your favorite one whatever that might be. Maybe it is that PS5 or 4, whatever it is that's right now. I can't remember. Maybe it is that bike or maybe it is that outfit or those pair of shoes you wanted or you know, whatever it may be. Will that last forever? Most things, maybe we can get a year out of. Maybe they'll last till next Christmas. But you know what? Beloveds, Jesus, he lasts forever. Forever and ever and ever. Like, forever. There's no end to Jesus' love. There's no end to that gift of Jesus. He never wears down. He, he never gets tired. He, he never will get a hole in it. He'll never stop working. The batteries will never die. It will, he will never break. He's perfect. He's perfect. He will last forever and ever. You can every day be thankful for the gift of Jesus forever. Now, there are days, do we have days that are better than others? Yes. Are there days that we just don't feel like playing with that awesome toy that we got for Christmas? Are there days that we feel like we don't need to be with whatever gift they may be? Maybe it is a new puppy. Maybe it's a, maybe, and you just... You know, maybe there are days that we don't need that gift. But you know what? Every single day, every moment, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. And God knows that. And so he gave that to us because he knows that's what we need. 
And we are so grateful. So Mickey, our awesome youth director, he reminded me in a post that Christmas is not just one day a year. It's every day. We continuously wake up every morning getting that gift of Jesus. And because of Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. So we have it every day. We have that gift every single day. We can, and all we have to do is ask Jesus and say, Jesus, I need you. And you know what? Without fail, no, without hesitation, he is there. He's there. He is whatever it is that you need. He is there. He is. It's the most amazing gift at all, of all, of all. I know I'm getting a little excited. You sometimes see Miss Jamie like this. I get a little excited, but I'm a little excited about this one because I received the perfect gift. The perfect gift. God gave me the perfect gift. And you know what? He gave that same gift to you. He gave that same gift to your mom, to your dad. You know what? He even gave that same gift to that friend at school. Even that one that you may not like so much. He gave it to us all because he loves us all so much. It's amazing. It's something to get excited about because guess what? Christmas means that it's every day of the year because of that wonderful, most amazing gift that God gave us thousands of years ago. And it's still going strong today. Jesus is still as real today as he was that cold winter day in the stable, in the manger. That Mary gave birth to him. It's, he's still as real today. He's still here with us. He still loves us just as much as he did when he died on the cross. It's amazing. It's the most perfect, wonderful gift ever. I'm going to read you a couple other verses because I want to show you and tell you that it tells us everywhere in the Bible that he is our gift. Romans 6, 23 says, for the wages of sin is death. That means that the consequence of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Because, so we don't have that death anymore because we've got Jesus. All you have to do is ask God. For Jesus in your heart. And all you have to do is ask God for forgiveness. And for 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13, it tells us, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith, so as to remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast, is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Love is Jesus, and we have Jesus so we have that gift of love because Jesus is love. God is perfect love. Romans 5, 8 says, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John 1, 12 says, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Because of Jesus, because we have Jesus, we have a relationship with God. And because of Jesus, God adopted us as his children Think about how much your mom and dad love you. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't even explain how much I love my children. And I know your mom and dad feel the exact same way about you. God loves you a hundred times over, beloveds. A hundred times over. 
even more than what mom and dad love you. It's amazing. It's fabulous. It's fantastic. It's um, when you understand, which I truly don't understand, and you see how excited I am. Beloveds, you were given the most perfect gift those that Christmas day all those years ago. Hello, Gen Z. All those years ago. And he's still giving today. He's still real today. All you have to do is say, I have Jesus in my heart. All you have to do is let him in and you'll feel oh, this amazing feeling because you'll feel like every single day you are giving, getting a gift all over again. It's phenomenal. I love you, beloveds. You are phenomenal. I am so thankful for each one of you. I hope you enjoy today's service. I know Bert will do a phenomenal job. I'm using that word a lot today, phenomenal, aren't I? But it is. This season always, it just kind of puts a renewing, a realization of what we have in our life. But I know that your message that will come to you today will be just as phenomenal. I love you, beloveds. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday and happy new year. Just a few days away and it'll be 2021. We can only pray and hope that it's much better than what 2020 has. But you know what? Even if it's not, we still have that perfect gift in Jesus. We still have Jesus with us. No matter what happens, no matter what goes wrong, no matter what goes right, we have Jesus with us in our hearts. I love you. Have a wonderful Sunday. I'll see you soon. Bye.